the network. All right, next we got Reach Trees. What's up, man? Haven't talked to you in for in a while. Um, he said, for smaller artists, is it worth hyping up each single track? All right. Um, track release with a full 21 day plan or whatever your time scale is or pick good ones to hype up with a 21 day promo that way in between big heavily promoted singles they're singles that you spend a fraction of the energy on in terms of marketing but release still to keep feeding the fans so i i, I get a sense of what you're what you're going um at so let's say this the answer that you always have to consider is number one Guess the word. I don't know if you're gonna if you have an idea what I'm gonna write, so guess. Actually, I wrote it wrong. Mm. Re sources. I don't care how big, small you are, everybody has to face the fact that there's still a limitation of resources at some point. And what you have to decide is where do you want to focus your energy on? Alright? If you only have a certain amount of money, you can have a whole bunch of ones, right? I got, let's just say these are 10 ones. At some point, what if this one goes up 2X? What do you have? You have two. But if I just have two tracks, right? And then I distribute five, five tick marks within those two tracks, five uh, elements of energy within those two. If one of those doubles, right? That five goes to 10. So that's what you have to think about when you're distributing your energy because at the end of the day, you only have a finite and you need to get an ROI. So just putting that energy everywhere to get no real results, not even give a chance, you have to take a risk at some point, especially when your resources are limited and you're just starting out. It doesn't make sense to be on, try to be on every single platform and post every day on every platform or to, to, to push every single song with the same amount of money or the certain amount of posts and all that stuff. Doesn't make sense. So whatever your 20 weight one day plan is, I don't know what you're referring to there. Um, whatever that is, don't do it for every single song, right? Apply it to the right songs. And what I look at is, all right, you're pushing a song, right? That song's going up. At some point, that song might mellow out a little bit. Right, and this is when you can start to say, well, maybe I I, I release the next tra uh, another track, all right. So now you try to get another boost. That's one way to approach it, or you can just say, I'm going to post post weekly. I'm going to post uh, biweekly, monthly, however you want to do it in that case. But let's say we're following this path. The thing that you want to do is say, all right, after this post happens, and then after the next post happens, and I start to get enough data which one is, is worth continuing to push more than anything else. But even within that, I got my focus tracks. These should continue to get 80% 80 of my energy, right? Whenever I'm doing focus tracks, and if I'm releasing that much music though, and I still wanna try to give a little blip, then you have that final 20, right? And there's four tracks within that maybe, all right? So you have, let's just say five elements. If we're working with money, you can divide by five. Uh, you can divide that twenty percent. So let's just say money. Actually, five dollars. Work with a Facebook ad. You will put five dollars towards your four tracks, and then you have two other tracks. So that's six tracks in total that you're get. You're splitting that eighty dollars that's left with. So that's forty dollars for these two tracks, and then you got five dollars giving a little blip of energy to to the to the next tracks. And we're just talking strictly Facebook ads from now. You can apply that in energy towards whatever your you know your post your uh, Spotify playlisting, however you want, want to approach it. But think about it like this. So what tracks are you all, are you going to put in at 80%? And this 80% should probably be two times a month. If you're, if you're going super high clip and you're, and you're dropping like all the time, right? But at least, right, give two weeks to these two tracks, at least, all right? Um, and then even if you aren't dropping tracks frequently, but it's a money limitation, again, 20% of your resources, whatever that looks like, goes towards these additional tracks. All right? That's a starting point. That's just a starting point, but I want to try to get as specific as I can with the question because, of course, I don't know everything going on with, with you reach trees, but most people can operate off of that 80-20, right? You have a priority, um, you know, <laughs> deprioritized, 
right? And these could be one, this could be one track in this section where it's all 80 and everything else. I don't really believe in as much because what I would do is 80 test, 80 test, keep that other 20, right? Find something else based on how this would form. Keep testing within the 80, the songs that I believe in most. And then when something responds in this 80% where it's performing better than all of these other tracks, they drop to the 20 and I'm putting 80 towards one, one track, all right? And I might kick out some of the, the ones that were in 20 before, so now they get no action at all, all right? I hope that makes sense. Maybe I'll do a separate video trying to make it even clearer, but I think it was decent enough. It's the network. Ow.